Wake up you dumb dumb. So you thought you could sleep through your sister's birthday and not play Fable? Ha, huh. a nice try. Go earn some cash while not being an evil little shit and buy her a present. Then you can play Fable. Got that? Good. Get out of my sight until you've done a good deed or whatever. I might give you one whole gold piece for it. I guess I should see if there's a bully or something. Wah wah wah, are you the ambulance or meme police? This bully goes around picking on everyone smaller than him. You're not much bigger, but I'm sure you could beat him up. I don't condone violence though. You're ruining the immersion, mate. This is supposed to be an introduction to picking fights with specific types of characters. This game doesn't know the meaning of neutrality, does it? Not, not really. really. Five head move incoming. I'll just beat both of you up to cancel the actions out. Wait, Wait what? what? I've lost Rosie. Who's Rosie? She's my teddy bear. She has a little blue patch and her stuffing was supposed to be changed today. I think I have Rosie in my pocket. I was wondering why the teddy smelled so bad. Oh god no. Did that neighbor boy have it? Oh no 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 no. What's wrong? You keep her. I'll just have my mom buy me a new Albion edition Barbie doll instead. Okay whatever. So like. I'm gonna break your barrels while you pee. Please don't. Too late. Well, at least you watched over my unbreakable barrels, so I'll tell your dad that you helped me out anyway. Hey you two. Do you know where I can do both a good and bad deed? This game is all about one or the other and I can't be bothered to choose only one. Keep my lady friend here a secret from my wife for me in exchange for gold piece. Okie dokie. Now to do the exact opposite of what he told me to do and tell his wife. Thanks for telling me about that. Finally, I have an excuse to strangle him with his own bastards. You what? That neutrality shit's not gonna work. You'll have to decide which path to take in life. I had hoped this would be a first step towards teaching you that your actions have consequences. I just hope that you face this reality someday. Still, I'm a man of my word. Have some gold pieces. Now go buy your sister a present. Hello lad, I'm a trader. I wander the world buying and sewing wares to find folk such as yourself. I happen to know for reasons that it's your sister's birthday and I happen to have a wove wee box of skooma Armin chocolates with her name on it for on we three gold pieces. Hi little brother. I'm waiting for my box of skooma. Oh so it was only chocolates? Darn it. My dream told me it would be skooma. I guess that means Fable doesn't take place this year. We should probably head back home now. Mother will be coming back for my party any minute now. It's a good thing we bought those stress release candles from that merchant the other day. I bet this will be one lit party. This could be my chance. My chance to prove I'm not a traitor. There's potential in this child. Father? Why are you laying in a pool of blood? Father? Sniffle. What the Sniffle. freak? Why in Scorm's name is Howard still here? Zap me zap. Stop crying boy. Trust me. I get it. My dad's dead too. But do you see me crying over it? I mean it's honestly for the best. He would have only hindered your minimal character growth anyway. Him dying actually enforces some motive for you to get revenge on the people who attacked your town. I mean sold you those stress release candles. Yeah, that's what it was. Now, take my hand, so I can take you to the Heroes Guild. Who even are you, mister? My name is Maze. I'm the traitor of the game. I mean, the head of the Guild of Heroes. You must have heard of it. The safest most fireproof place in all of Albion. The best place in the world to call home. The only means you'll have in learning the martial cunning. And badass wizardry required to exact revenge on the bastard that sold your family those stress release candles that burned the entirety of your hometown to the ground. I think everyone would agree that the words I'm speaking here, and in the actual game, reflect what one would say to a child they just rescued from a tragic village sacking. I mean accidental burning. Seems legit to me I guess. Then we have a video game kiddo. Get out of bed lazy boys.
Are you all right? You look pretty stressed. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I'm so happy to see you like this instead of that nightmare I just had. Would you call it an unreal nightmare? Whisper. Seriously though, you have no clue. It's all right ass face. Fable anniversary can't hurt you. It's just a worse version of the lost chapters, and it costs more anyway. How? How did you know it was a Fable anniversary dream? Also since when did you stop calling me farm boy? I get those all the time. If you wanna talk about putrid, all I need to do is look in a mirror in those dreams. They are truly jarring. And I figured I'd at least try to break out of an old habit to justify including a cutscene that was introduced in Lost Chapters in a later episode. Don't spoil the story whisper, but fair enough I suppose. Hey there folks. This redo of episode 1 was to celebrate a whole year since the first episode of Fable TLM. I hope I never have to see Fable Anniversary character models in this series again. Who boy do they lack the charm of the originals. But many thanks to all who have watched any portion of this series. I know 2020 has been a frankly horrid year. There's just no two ways around it. But I hope you're all staying as safe as you can out there. We'll get through it I'm sure. Just continue to exercise safety, and be kind to one another. I hope to catch you next time, if you'll excuse me, I need to abuse Temple of Ava for age reduction before the next episode.